I feel the need. The need for speed. Do something intelligent. Smee, Smee, what about Smee? Smee, 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 Smee. What about Smee? Smee's me. What about me? Hook came out when I was 10. I believe I have watched this movie dozens of times in my lifetime. It was one of those movies that kept coming up over and over on TNT or TBS. Plus, you know, it's a wonderful film. So what caused this 30-year-old film to come into our lives? Back in the early 80s, one young Steven Spielberg, and by young, I mean slightly older than me currently. So yes, of course, young. Anyways. Steven Spielberg, fresh off of making E.T. and some Indiana Joneses, started to work on a Peter Pan movie with Disney. It was somewhat of a passion project for him, as he had always loved Peter Pan stories when he was a child, and who didn't? He was quoted as saying, Anytime anything flies, whether it's Superman, Batman, or E.T., it's got to be a tip of the hat to Peter Pan. Peter Pan was the first time he'd seen anyone fly. So there was a special place in his heart for the young trickster. He originally had an idea for making the movie a musical with Michael Jackson in the starring role. Jackson had expressed interest in the role, but not as a grown-up Peter Pan who lost his memories. So bullet dodge there for everyone. Then he took it over to Paramount and James V. Hart was hired to start working on the script with Dustin Hoffman cast as Captain Hook from the get-go. In 1985, Spielberg's first son was born and he dropped out because he didn't want to be in London away from his family. Hear that, Kevin? So Nick Castle was hired to direct. They moved from Paramount to TriStar Pictures, but shortly after they hired Robin Williams to play Peter, they decided to bring Spielberg back in. Carrie Fisher, who was who they originally had in mind for Tinkerbell, but they ultimately hired her to do rewrites for the character instead. She does get a cameo with one of Spielberg's best buds, George Lucas, but I'll cover that later on with some other cameos. Hook came out in 1991, it only had the 14th highest box office sales for that year, but it came out in December, so it didn't have too much time to build that much revenue. Also look at the rest of the films on this list. Terminator 2, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, Dances with Wolves. There are dozens of movies that I've loved that came out that year. And upon investigation, some of those movies came out in late 1990, but still competed with the others. So here's the movie in a nutshell. No, this is me in a nutshell. Help, I'm in a nutshell. Peter's a middle-aged business guy. I'm not too sure what his job actually is. His character was created as a way for Spielberg to deal with his issues about his father and mother splitting up. You can see this in how he portrays father figures in E.T. Dad would believe me. Maybe you ought to call your father and tell him about it. I can't. He's in Mexico with Sally. And Indiana Jones as well. What did we talk about? We didn't talk. We never talked. James Hart, the writer, was also wondering what Peter Pan would be doing after he grew up and designed Peter after several of his Wall Street friends. He is watching his daughter's play, Peter Pan of all things, and takes a cell phone call in the audience. Magically, he doesn't even get shushed once. But, um, all I'm sh Later, he promises his son he'll catch his baseball game and, of course, misses it. Work gets in the way. Bad dad. Then they fly to London. Two interesting facts here. One, they fly Pan Am, and that airline went out of business the same month that Hook was released. Also, the captain on the plane. Yes, that is Dustin Hoffman saying, this is your captain speaking. Get it, Captain Hook? Yeah, you'll figure it out, I'm sure. They made it to London to honor Granny Wendy. Yes, that's Wendy, the little girl from the original story. She's played by Dame Maggie Smith, who was only 56 when they filmed. They used makeup to make her look older than she is now. So Peter tucks his children in and him and his wife leave with Granny Wendy to a banquet for a hospital or something. But while they're gone, the children disappear. Peter starts to drink and he thinks he's seeing things, but really it's Tinkerbell played by Julia Roberts. She spent most of her time on the film doing green screen work away from the rest of the cast and earned the name Tinker Hell 
for being difficult to work with. Also during the filming, she fled California when her wedding with Kiefer Sullivan was called off. She was an actual runaway bride. Spielberg reportedly told her she would be fired if she didn't get back to work immediately, so she came right back. Peter tells Tink that he doesn't believe in fairies, and she almost dies? I'm not sure if it was just her playing or not, but he has to clap to bring her back to life. He passes out and she carries him away. Speaking of carrying, that kissing couple that start to fly away are Carrie Fisher and George Lucas. See, I told you I'd talk about them. He wakes up in Neverland and sneaks onto Hook's boat, the Jolly Roger. Here we meet Dustin Hoffman in his first of two Peter Pan movies. He plays Captain Hook in this one, and he's also in Finding Neverland. It was said that he showed up to filming two months earlier than he needed to be so he could delve into that role. His first mate is Mr. Smee, played by Bob Hoskins. They discover Peter had forgotten he was Peter Pan, and Hook gives him three days to get back to speed in order to save his children. Then Peter discovers the Lost Boys, led by Dante Bosco. He has a special place in my heart for not only voicing Prince Zuko in the Avatar series, but also bringing him to life. <laughs> Bosco spoke the line. You're dead, jolly man. Backwards, so that they could film the scene in reverse. Apparently they didn't like the idea of lunging a sharp sword towards Robin Williams. The kids decide to believe in Peter. They give him some workouts so that he can get in shape. Here's one of my favorite lines when I was a kid. I always get a kick out of that one. Meanwhile, Hook decides to try and convince Peter's kids to love him. Spee, what a superb idea I've just had. Tomorrow I'll make Pan's brats love me. Then they play some baseball. Peter gets to watch his son score an epic home run, but is sad that he's missing so much of his kid's life. He goes back to camp and gets hit in the head by the home run ball somehow. Then a little bit later, he gets to remember that he was Peter Pan, and then he flies and stuff. Tinkerbell professes her love for him, and she turns all big. And then Peter and Hook have an epic fight. It's really good choreography. Even though there's hardly any spoiling a 30-year-old movie, I'll just leave it there. Is it a good movie? Well, Spielberg apparently was disappointed with how they shot Neverland, and later said he wished they would have had technology to use a digital set. But I think it still holds up. Maybe we can remember what digital sets first started to look like. I decided to make this video after we just started watching this movie, and I gotta say, watching this movie helped me in multiple ways. First of all, the nostalgia was a great pick-me-up. The music especially. Watching Hook has also helped me to be motivated on making videos again. After my laptop paperweight situation, I was having a hard time getting my mojo back. I've lost my mojo! Jumping back into this old happy time movie of my youth has helped. Also, there was another interesting cameo in the movie, and not Gwyneth Paltrow as the young Wendy. See this pirate? That's actually Glenn Close, about to be stashed into a boo box. So I think Steven Spielberg's 91 film Hook was great. Good for the family. Maybe you should go watch it. I hope you found this video both entertaining and informative. If you like what you saw, then you should, you know, click the like button and show YouTube your appreciation. Become one of my awesome subscribers and be notified when I make more videos like this. Maybe I'll do Planet of the Apes next, you know, the one with Mark Wahlberg. You should subscribe and then you can find out. But until then, I'm Mr. Movie Lover and I genuinely love this movie. See ya!